Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Shape Shift OS, which is based on Android version 10 on this Redmi Note 3. So let's begin. So as you guys can see here, the Shape Shift OS version here is 1.2, and the Android version here is Android 10. The security patch number here you get is the 5th of September. And uh, the kernel here is some a new kernel vulnerable X kernel. I don't know what is this kernel, but here it is a new kernel available. These are the specifications of this ROM. Then this is the settings panel, just the same. Then go to system settings. You get to see the Xiaomi parts available here, just the same as every ROM. But here are some new options: the direct sound enhancer and everything, the low memory killer, TCP congestion. These are some new options available here. Then go to the gestures. Here you get to see the jump on camera. Then here is the system navigation gesture. And the navigation gestures are just working absolutely fine as you can see here no worries the gestures are just fluid enough then in the gestures you get to see the adaptive playback and three finger swipe for the screenshot option here is available here okay you get to see the long screenshot option available here so that's great then moving forward to the digital well-being here which is working absolutely fine and is available and this rom has the pre-built g app so you don't need to flash the external g app so don't worry then going to security here we will talk about it later because here is a bug man so we'll talk about in the bug section then going to sound and vibration these are all the sound and vibration stuff just the same and you get to see the vibration and haptics like vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and vibrate on disconnect and you get to see the vibration patterns available here okay then moving forward to the display these are, these are all the display settings just the same going to styles and wallpapers these are the styles the clock styles here these are all the clock styles available here you see spidey and spectrum and everything then these are the wallpapers available here okay then you get to see the brightness and everything the dark theme here is available here the AOSP cutout emulation this is just of no need then you get to see the screen server options the lock screen display here is available here and always on display here is also available which is working absolutely fine so that's great and you get to see the double tap to wake option available here then moving forward to the battery life the battery life here is great i would say i have charged up to around 96 percent and the screen on time here is three hours but the most of the time that it was on the standby then going to the customization these were the settings available here and now moving forward to the customization these are all the customization i'll just not show you each and every customization you get to see the status bar customization just the same as every rom man then you get to see the quick settings customizations these are all the lock screen customizations available here you get to see the fingerprint direct unlock so that is an option available here then this is a new ui tuner option available here and here there is a new option mui style brightness slider this is how it's looking like the mui style but you can turn it off and you can set it to like the android style so the, these are the options available here then going to the theme engine this is like the, all the customizations available here these you can uh, select the accent color from here these you can select the custom accent color these are all the status bar icon available here the adaptive icons available here which i have selected the squirrel one squeeze or squircle one and this is how it is looking so that is great then you get to see the dark theme available here then base theme these are all the themes available here then volume panel styles and these are all the clock styles then all the font styles are available here so this is it then you get to see the notification customizations and the navigation and buttons you don't get the long press and double tap customization for the hardware buttons available here so that is not available then miscellaneous settings you get to see you don't get to see the gaming mode also available here so that is not there then in the about you get to see the lead developer Ashutosh Sundresh the extended UI developer 00 day 0 I don't know who is this graphics and everything all there then device maintainer here is the Ashutosh Sundresh but for this Redmi Note 3 the maintainer here is ES Cabot so that's it for the customization these were the customizations available so guys if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and there will be the name of the telegram group you can join the telegram group so if you still haven't joined it then please guys join the telegram group then this is the home screen and you get to see the oneplus launcher the inbuilt launcher the launcher here you get to see is the oneplus launcher and that is just amazing talking about the quick settings items like the wi-fi here is working mobile data here is working so that's great then torch here is also working auto rotate you get to see the dark theme night light and everything 
you get to see the screen recorder, audio recorder, screen I mean the screenshot option and nearby share here is also available then you get to see the floating toolbox here you get you can just screenshot from here and screen record from the floating toolbox and everything these are all the options available here okay then moving forward to the apps like the inbuilt apps you get to see the screen recorder app you get to see the vibe weather app available the oneplus weather app available here so that is great then talking about the camera here you get to see the google camera go version here which is working absolutely fine and then talking about the 7.3 the google camera 7.3 here is just not working so that is a bit problem here for those camera lovers the gcam 7.3 here is not working and i am using the google camera 5.1 version available on the play store which is working absolutely fine so that is great then talking about the safety net status the safety net status has just passed without even rooting the phone so that is great as you can see here the safety net status is passed then talking about the performance here uh, i tried to try to run the geekbench test but i don't know for some reason it just uh, get stopped after the 78 percent or so so i was not able to run the geekbench score but talking about the overall performance the performance here is just amazing you will have no worries with the performance and you get to see this google feed option also available here then you get to see the home settings these are all the settings available here you get to see the launcher layout the drawer one or the miui style one these are all the options then you can change the icon pack from here these are all the icon packs available here like the mclaren one i'll just this is how the oneplus mclaren edition icons here are, are looking so this is how you can change the icon pack and these are all the other icon packs available here, like the square round the oneplus o launcher the hydrogen os the oxygen and everything these are all the options available here okay then talking about the call quality here the calls uh, you will have no problems with the calls and everything the, all those is are working absolutely fine here. so that is it for this room now let's talk about the bugs here so guys you get to see the bugs all the android 10 major no major bu all the android 10 bugs the random reboot and everything but i haven't faced that bug yet and the black screen bug also i haven't faced it uh, i'm using this from around four days now yeah almost a four day almost four days now so i haven't faced that bug and random reboot the circuit bug animation all these bugs i haven't faced it yet but they are still present in my opinion i think so so that is a bit problem here then talking about the a bug like in the security the fingerprint scanner here is i don't know working or not but it may be so this is a bug like when i try to set the screen lock like the pattern or everything as you can see now i confirm it and now i can go further and as you can see screen lock was already changed try again with a new screen lock and as you can see the screen lock is not set and i tried to do with with the pin also it's just the same i just cannot go forward and i am not able to set the screen lock and it just shows the screen lock was already changed so this is a bug present here you will not be able to set the screen lock here so this is a these were the bugs present here and the gcam 7.3 here is not working so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video and and don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye